This is my OM Tech 50 watt laser that I got recently and it works real good right out of the box. However, I did some upgrades in here that I think are must do upgrades for almost anybody that gets a CO2 laser like this. Uh, one of the first things that happened to me was my air assist failed after about a week and this is the air assist. I'm going to turn this. Uh, that that cylinder right there is the air assist. Mine failed after a week. Uh, so I went ahead and hooked up an external air assist. And it's pretty easy. All you do is just uh, pop these off. And you run a wire from the plus 24 volt. And the aux air on mine, they call it wind on some of the larger controllers. And then I routed that wire back through here and then out the back to a 24 volt solenoid, which is kind of hard to see. And then that solenoid is hooked up to a pressure regulator uh, that's a drain as well. And then I got one of those uh, California Air Tools 8010 8 gallon compressors. Thing will put out as much PSI as you want, and boy, does it make a clean cut. So the air assist in these machines is crap. And again, mine failed after a week. Uh, the next thing I changed was the um, there's a water flow sensor that comes in these. It's not this one, this is a Cloud Ray HT30. Uh, every time I open up one of the forums, I'd see multiple reports of the, um, water flow sensor switches failing or leaking or not stopping the laser from firing when there was no water flow. So I just went ahead and got one of these cloud ray HT thirties. They cost 10 bucks, but they charge shipping too. So you end up paying about $20 for them. So I made my own 3D bracket, 3D printed bracket for it as well too. So I could use the existing standoffs that the old switch was mounted to. And then lastly, I guess one of the big changes that I made to this was I changed the crummy blue power supply that came with the unit. I put a better power supply in that's got uh, the digital readout and it has a much longer mean time between failures before uh, it uh, dies, hopefully. So those are the upgrades that I've done to my laser. And again, I think anybody that gets one of these CO2 lasers should visit changing the air assist pump, uh, the water flow sensor, and possibly their power supply, depending on what power supply they have in their unit. So that's all. Thank you.